Mary Rose was built by King Henry VIII, who saw that naval guns were the future. We often point to it as one of the earliest examples of what we could call a modern cannon-armed warship. It carried a number of heavy pieces, ship smashers, guns that could shoot a ball big enough to go through an enemy hull. But heavy guns posed a problem. Put them on the top deck, and the ship capsizes. In the 16th century, the French solved it. With an opening in the ship's side, under a hinged cover known as a gun port. Guns were lower, capsizing was harder. In 1536, Mary Rose copied the hot trend. The British cut gun ports into her hull and gave her a deadly selection of guns. Henry VIII went to town. There were 14 different types of gun on the Mary Rose, and these varied not only in size, but in the material, in that some were bronze and some were iron, and also in the size and weight of the shot. Mary Rose's guns were made in two ways. Either crude iron guns forged by blacksmiths, or more advanced bronze guns cast in one piece. Up to three tons of molten metal were poured into molds, creating a solid metal cannon. These state-of-the-art weapons came in varying sizes. The biggest were large ship-smashing cannons that could fire a 70-pound shot. Mary Rose also had smaller, long-barreled guns called culverins that could fire cannonballs over 450 yards. In July 1545, Mary Rose got a chance to test her new weapons in combat. In 1545, Henry VIII was at war with France, and the French Navy was threatening England with an invasion. So the English fleet was gathered at Portsmouth. When the French sailed into the Solent, Henry and his admirals decided that the best thing to do would be to come out to confront them. On the morning of July 19th, Henry VIII watched the battle unfold from the ramparts of South Sea Castle. As the flagship, Mary Rose led the fleet toward the French. She opened fire, then disaster struck. The best eyewitness account says that she fired guns from the starboard side and was turning to bring the other guns to bear when she turned too steeply and water entered through the gun ports on the side of the ship of the gun she just fired. She heeled over too much, water entered through the open ports. The very thing that made her a modern combat ship was her undoing, the portholes for her new guns. With water pouring in, Henry's precious Mary Rose sank. When the ship was found, the gun ports were still open.